Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. I'm deciding to create another little similar uh, small series. And this is going to be about uh, telemetry. So I've been wanting to actually dive into telemetry uh, because I want to start using it myself. And uh, I just know a little bit about it, not too much. And so I'm going to be learning uh, along as, as you guys and teaching you what I've kind of figured out. So if you have some tips or tricks, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, in this first video, um, I actually had a couple questions yesterday from somebody about how to actually count how many times uh, something happened. And I think this is a pretty simple kind of telemetry event to, to do. Um, so all this is going to do is just basically count, you know, when something happened, right, and just keep increasing. And so um, I went ahead and created this simple Phoenix project, and I added the dash dash live, and it gave me everything uh, you see over here out of the box. And what we need to do next is uh, we actually just create a function. So I'm over here, I'm just going to remove all this stuff and just create a function, say we just call it interesting function. And all this function is going to do is just return an OK atom. Uh, but whenever we call this function, we want to basically just count. OK. And so in order to do that, um, we can just pull in telemetry. Now telemetry is actually put in their default um, out of the box anyways. So nothing special we need to do. And so we just have to call telemetry. And telemetry, uh, as you can see, is an Erlang library. So that's why we need to do it like this. And there's an execute function. And the first parameter is basically just a list of what we want to measure, or what we want to basically tag it with almost. I'm not going to use the word tag, actually, but what we want to kind of call it. And I'm going to namespace it off of our app, right? So we have telemetry demo an interesting function. And there's a second argument, which is usually a map of some extra things. So this is where you can actually add tags and so forth. But uh, in this case, we're not going to have anything special. We just want to count how many times this has been uh, executed. Uh, in future videos, I'll show you what other things you can add, uh, such as durations and so forth. But anyways, we uh, take just our telemetry demo. We call interesting function on it. And we just want to count how many times this happens. And uh, so I'm going over here. So this is the telemetry uh, module that gets pulled in. Uh, that's over here. And in here, we pulled in this telemetry metrics. And in here, they have some special functions. And so one of those functions, of course, is called counter. And what this one does is, remember we had telemetry demo. And then of course, we need to also have the interesting function. So this is just basically these atoms, uh, but put together with a dot in between, and of course, put into a string. And then finally, we need to add this dot count in order to actually count how many times this actually happens. And that is honestly enough to kind of get us started. So all we need to do is, if we run our server, um, since I added this counter into here, we can actually see this happening. So when I go to here, let's basically just refresh, take a look at this. Let's just take a look at this part. There we go. And take a look at the metrics. Very strange. Let me just go ahead and, OK, here we go. I don't know why it's being a little bit goofy. Uh, but take a look at the metrics. And they're namespaced by over here. So we put it to telemetry demo. And at the bottom, you'll see our little interesting function count. And you'll see that there's you know, there's nothing happening. Um, there's also some default ones in here. I'm not going to look at those. But this is the one that we added. And so this is the count. So now what we can do is we can say we can take our uh, telemetry demo and we can call that interesting function three times. Now if we take a look, you'll see it's been called three times. And it looks like that this is, you know, this is basically how many times we've called it. So you see they're always at a whole number. 
one, two, and finally three for the third one. Um, and then this would be the timings, I, I suppose. Looks like it's on the second mark, I believe. I'm not too sure. Uh, I know we can take a look over here. So this one would be on 15. This one is on 15. Uh, okay, probably related to something else, but in any case, this is how you can start to get an idea of, of the counts, and this will just keep increasing. I would suppose there's probably a way to change this uh, chart. I need to look more into it, but at least we have kind of an idea about what's going on, and you can start to count how many times some kind of event actually happens. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't, otherwise I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, bye. Hi, please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.